Well, hello. My name is Henry. I'll be doing a guide on how to play as um, King Harold of England in the 1066 start date, where you're facing off against William the Bastard of Normandy and King um, Harold Hardrad of Norway. So, um, with the new patch, it's gone a lot harder. Like, it's just it's been difficult. You they don't really attack each other, Norway and Normandy anymore. So you actually need to attack them. It's a bit annoying. Now we recommend from the start, do not attack Norway. I mean, York is a huge advantage in the offence and it's very hard. So, to start off with, um, let's get some alliances, I think. I don't really like going with too many alliances, but I've tr 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 like tried a few games just before this to see what works. And it worked. I got Germany involved. Married him to my like second son. Switch, um, yeah. Married this one. Oh, she's celibate now. They change all the time each time you're loading. Oh, she's celibate. She's married to him. Oh, um. Oh, what? Which one's better? I'll marry her. Um, arranged marriage. And I'll marry you to my second son, I guess. Which is Prince Edmund. And hopefully they'll accept. Um. Ties basically just get an alliance with Germany who can help me with this war. I've tried it without, and you can do it, you can defend England, but it does help out so much, so it's no point to not, like, just getting the help if they're offering it. Right, and first things first, you, um, this is, uh, it's called the men's size or something on this. I don't know, it is, like, how to pronounce it properly, but in it's Latin or French, I'm not too sure, for domain, so. I'm probably going to be saying domain size a lot, so that'll help you with that. And as you can see at the moment, we're over at 8 to 4. You can either carry on with that, that, or what I've found out you can do, which is helpful in this war, is you can actually give it to people, which does help a lot. So at the start, um, the people that are in the front line, yourself and Edmund aren't really that high rated in martial score. So what I found you can do is give it to people with high martial and they can help you in the battle so much. Um, right, before I give him my eldest Devon, just to lower the actual domain scores to I think a 4. Stops people from hating you so much and it just does help. Oh god, sort that out a bit. Um, then Wessex, I usually give that to Edgar of Wessex, just seems nice really, there he is. He's got a good score and stuff, so make it like me. Oh, I bet he's not. I didn't actually check. Oh, he's cheering a lot of people. No, he's, why does he not like me that much? But then with these two, you and if you click on fan characters down here, just make sure they're male. They're not ruling anything else at the moment. They're of your religion and culture. Let that adult, and then just sort it by martial score. And it'll give you a list of good people. Like, um, he's got ambitious, but well, the top two do, don't they? But they're going to be very helpful in this war. They may even die, which can get his bonus to you. So I'm going to try and keep. I'm going to give some of set away. It's a good duchy to have usually, but I'm not too bothered about it right now. So I don't. I'm not too bothered with it. Yeah. So I'm just going to give these two away. So that's Somerset and Dorset. Um, then you've got a domain of four out of four, so I'll just click these off these. Um, right, now that they're sorted, you've got a domain of four out of four. You can change these to like the best commanders. So you got twenty three, nineteen, and eighteen. That is going to be very strong. Um, then what you usually do is make sure your council's fine. Get a good steward. I oh, don't don't get anyone who's currently in your army. So. Get my eldest son, we'll take him out of the army. And he can collect taxes. Oh, sorry. Um, need to find out which gives, gives the most tax at the moment, just so I get the biggest bonus. Right, Wiltshire or Bedford, I'll put Wiltshire on it. Since it's more out of the action, so William Normandy is going to probably take these earlier on in the game. Um, and then I will. Got some children to educate. I'll give these to uh, someone with high diplomacy. Oh, wait, I could give them to these two, the, the, um, the Dukes, the Duke of Merca. 
miss you if possibly actually didn't pronounce that right I apologize if anyone of you is a bit annoyed with that and then Duke of Northumberland I give you one of my daughters to look after um, this will help us out in the long run just make some like it's more which does help and I don't I'm not sure if they'll attack me or I'll just wait educating myself so he gets a good martial stacks skill tradition he should be so much better King Harold Godwin I'd, he's a bit lowly rated well William the Conqueror is so high rated he's just bad that and then um, you can go look at harder harder he's high rated and Harold Godwin should be similar to bloody William the Conqueror um, it's a bit Bit harsh. The proper, they made it very hard to stay alive with um, Harold Godwin, so you can uh, it's, it's tough, but it can be done. Um, so what have we set up? Set up the army. Oh, council. Um, oh, he's my best spy master. He is, but he's leading troops. So we'll get you out of the army. You don't really like me that much, and we'll scheme and we'll put you in Northumberland, just to st he usually gets a plot going straight away so let's take him out of the action um, oh, and I'll, oh, I'll get my ambition as excellated among men cause it's a nice thing to have it gets everyone opinion up when you get it and you should be doing it like, pretty quick oh and a cheap way to get prestige early on is marry your sister to the king of scotland yeah this one he won't marry her she's too old well he will marry her and it gives you 400, 400 prestige if he does indeed marry her and possibly send your court chaplain to the Pope just so you don't get excommunicated, yeah, excommunicated cheaply at the start of the game um, <coughs> I think that's most of the start and I would usually do technology but considering you're at war at the start it's not too important you can wait till after for that because uh, capital is going to get taken I'm not too sure if that alters anything but uh, that's all. I'm, I'm not going to do it. Um, you got. You don't have a lot of money at the start. You need to try and work hard. I'm just going to bump the speed up right now to full speed, and I will actually make a save right now. Just quickly do a quick save. Just so it doesn't work right, like what I'm doing now. I can go back to it and then just paste that part of the video into where this is makes it a lot easier right so I think we can begin my first move what I've done on th um, like the trial thing I've been taking him to Oxford and I've been actually letting William the Conqueror attack me there so I'll move you here oh, have I missed anything off I don't think so but yep 400 prestige for you this will move here from Scotland I could call them but they're, they're yeah they won't Duke of the Isles has come to for Norway. That's them over there. Um, except, yep. Right, I might actually try. Depends on what this is. They don't always help for. They should come, but they don't. They don't all the time, so that can be annoying. The first thing you're gonna do, you wanna leave William the Conqueror to finish siege in there, and then he'll come and attack you in Oxford, and you should usually win. That's what happened to me. I've got good um, martial stats. He'll be attacking, so it'll be hard for him. And um, we've got a good advantage. So, oh, wow, they're going getting through that quick. But as you can see, their armies are too big. I don't get why they've done this paradox. Like, it should have been more even. I think just how Godwin should have had the biggest army at the start. That's what he did in real life. He had to take Harold Hardrad out. Then he was marching to William the Conqueror to take him out was beating him in the battle but then ended up um, when he was winning his men got a bit too happy with themselves and started chasing William's routing units and then they kind of went and got all split up and kind of got themselves trapped and William the Conqueror just ended up destroying the army from the English and then they couldn't muster a force together at all and then William took control of England oh, and yeah Germany have actually come to help me with the Holy Roman Empire so that's good news. Um, if they, do, I don't know. 
they don't usually come this quick that's pretty useful even if they don't this I don't know if they'll join me here or not. they're going actually up north Cause, oh god I don't think usually has an army that big does he or? Hmm. but this battle should go my way I think Germany are going to help but ugh, usually it won't matter just because the martial damage is too high and he, the German army's kind of screwed me over a bit now he's scared of us um, let's just see if he has a does, um, if we go to Middlesex with these then don't really where are these going? Oh, they're joining me in Middlesex oh what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, kind of don't really know what this army's doing right now. Might actually move back to Oxford. Don't like the AI. I'd rather him leave me. Oh, what is he doing? I want William to attack me. I don't really want to attack him. Because it's not the best choice. Right, okay. I'll. Ugh, this possibly could go wrong. Um. I tend to uh, let female thieves and bandits get away with lighter sentences than men. Um well, I'm arbitrary. Really? Oh, I thought she would like it more. Um right, this is what I want hopefully. Ah, oh, stop it. Right, um people I'll let them attack there. Oh wow, Jip. Wow, I think they've kind of won this arm. This isn't really what I wanted to happen, in honesty. Um, Germany have kind of put all their troops here. With like a big stack of them. And this is going to help me out a lot. So they're going to. I may as well follow them. It's going to make the war a bit easier. I'm losing money fast. I don't think I usually lose it this fast. Um, right, it looks like I may win. Oh, Germany left me. That's kind of him, isn't it? Um, the siege in Middlesex, that's fair enough. Uh, this isn't really how I wanted this to go. Um, nope, we came with. Oh, that was Magnus, wasn't it? Yeah, bad sons. Oh, and then Denmark are actually attacking Germany there. I'll go help him out in a minute. The first thing you want to do, you want to take William out of the equation. Get him to either die. Oh, oh. We got lucky there. William is in jail, and then I want to run to Middlesex. I uh, actually want to go this way so I can get to them quicker to help them out if need be. Um, or will you look fine? You haven't been injured, no? Right, and I will. Oh, wait. Stupid. And I can end this war with him. Enforce demands. I didn't actually think this would go so smoothly as it did. Capturing him in jail and getting Germany to come and help me out that really does help and Germany need my help right now I think so we'll run in help him see how the battle goes and oh they're getting destroyed they're getting destroyed wow well, I have a lot of his army so nasty um, right and we're all running Let's look at that um, oh. Well, we've got plenty of men left. I'll link that with you. Oh. I can call mercenaries if need be. Um, no, I don't really care about our sons that much. So I'll pause it and I'll see if he will come and help us. No, he will not come and help. Um, well, this war's gone kind of a bit bad now. I don't get how they get to have such a big army there. Seems a ridiculous size. Um, I keep pausing it there, but let's carry on. Ah, still we're like getting our army back. There's no Buckingham. Eh, Baron of Buckingham. Um, we will. Which is Buckingham? Is that there? Yes, it is. Uh, create a vassal for that. We'll actually see if he was any good. Could have given. Uh, I'm not actually too sure how many men we have here. So I will check. What the hell? No, how many. 
Alright, we'll go to Middlesex, it looks like. Probably not the best idea. To defeat, defeat, defeat. Put <laughs> uh, in the siege. Uh, how many men do we have? So it's 9636, there's 10,000. Um, we just gotta hope, I think. The morale's all. Well, pause it just before we start the engagement. Well, we have engaged, but. Moment, it looks like we've got the upper hand. He's, it's because of him. Oh, the German guy's in lead of there. I think it's that side of the battle that's ruining it for us. I'm actually drawing right now. If we win, that's. Oh, beautiful. I think we may have won. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's looking good, this. Yes. Morale was bad there, but I'm just looking at that. You can see when the line goes. Ooh. Pause it now. And that is lovely. That is lovely. I'll get out following you. March them you over there. And Germany are not following me. I kind of want to destroy this army. I hope I haven't. Running a bit too happy after a victory, but I shouldn't have. It should be fine. But the most of the armies f like fled, and if we can capture Haldhardrada in battle, that'd be lovely. That. I keep following you. The morale's low. Uh, 